Anybody else coming? There's more, Cassandra. This has got to be it. Here they come. Get ready. Okay. Let's try that. Mage. Not today, you. Is that... Cassandra? Is that Fiona? How? How, how is that Fiona? What did they do to her? Fiona, what are you even doing? Why? Okay, I am confused. Right now, as to why Fiona's even considering this. You. I'm gonna get the mage while you guys get Fiona. Okay, or I'm gonna try to get the mage while you guys get Fiona. Oh no, fire. Okay, listen, listen, I hate your fire with a passion. Thank you. This? I think the backup's gone. Now this. It's gotta be the end of her. And gone. How? Why? Why would she have done this? Is there somebody else over there? Cassandra, you got them? I think they're scared. I'll leave that in your capable hands. I'm gonna start loading the trebuchet again. Move. Now. Oh, that hurt. What is that? The Elder One? Enough! Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken no more. Uh... <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Forces beyond my... I don't even know what you're referring to. I am just simply out here trying to enjoy some time with friends. And you came here with the dragon and the venatori and tried to interrupt my humble little party to celebrate the fact that I closed the breach, which I don't think you wanted me to do, did you? Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. Who? You will kneel. No. No, 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 no. No, that's not happening. Never, ever will I kneel. You'll... you'll get nothing out of me! You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here for the anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning. And instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you as touched, what you flail at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The gall. What does the anchor do? Tell me! 
what this is supposed to have done. What is this thing meant to do? It is meant to bring certainty where there is none. For you, the certainty that I would always come for it. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion Withered to Vinter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods and it was empty. The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and god it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. Me? Die today? You must be joking. Also, you have talked for far too long for my liking. It was nice meeting you, though. Hopefully see you never again. You expect me to fight, but that's not why I kept you talking. Enjoy your victory. Here's your prize! through a big hole into I don't even an old underground passage maybe not sewers but something maybe an old escape tunnel for the chantry that nobody knew about oh this thing hurts I hurt everywhere I don't think you're supposed to fall like that and survive I don't know why, but I am very that. grateful. Is that the way out? Okay, good. Hi. Um, okay. No, not today. Okay. Someone help. This. What is this? Wait, when did I learn to do that? Is that... Is that what I can do now? He called it the anchor, so it's not just a mark on my hand, it's an anchor. So is that what I do with riffs? I act as an anchor between... The fa like, like almost like a veil, but not. Like I act as an anchor because it can't close itself. So it anchors itself to my hand. And then it's able to mend? Or maybe it's something entirely different. Hopefully when I get out of here and find everybody, I can pick somebody's brain about it. Oh, good. This... is fun. Alright. Well... seems to be the right way to go. I guess I'll just follow the debris and hope for the best. It is so cold. Yep. Yep. I'm glad I dressed warm before we left this morning. Because, oh my goodness. Where even am I? 
Uh, is that... Is that a campfire? And it's not... Ari, did they stop? Did somebody stop? Was somebody here? What is this? It's cold. Nothing. All right. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, though, given the fact that it's very cold out here. So for all I know, they left it not too long ago. I hope Bull, Cassandra, and Solus made it out all right, though. I didn't see them after the dragon hit, but I'm going to assume they made it out. If anybody could have, it'd be the three of them, that's for sure. <sighs> Is this another? Embers. Recent? Okay. Well, it's a pretty view, if nothing else. Up here. Is that a path? And I hear wolves, which doesn't leave me with glad tidings, but here we are. Okay. One step forward, Ivy. Come on, you've been through worse. I think. No, you've definitely been through worse. Remember that one time? And I'm talking to myself to keep myself going. That's how low we've fallen. All right. A couple more steps. That's it. You got this. Is that fire down there? Tents? There! It's her! Thank the Maker! What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury, thanks to you. The enemy could not follow, and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Where is Corypheus now? Have we heard anything? Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. Oh, that's comforting. Which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. Yeah, and yelling won't help anybody. And it's only going to make everybody else that isn't in charge more nervous than they already are. The only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? I... Uh, I don't know, Mother Giselle. I don't know. I didn't die, for what it's worth. There, there was no me dying and coming back to life miraculously or anything. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw, or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? I don't know. I don't know if I felt any kind of help from anybody down there when it was all happening. But do you think Corypheus is right at all about what he said about, well, what he saw? 
You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. He said the heavens are empty. Mother Giselle, he said that there's nothing, it's empty, and that we should hope that he succeeds in godhood because of it. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness, nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. I mean, honestly, that would make sense in some ways if he's doomed everybody. You'd need some way to justify it, and I guess going on a crusade to become a god to save everybody from the mistakes that you made would make sense in the end I guess <sighs> I still don't believe though no matter what we've seen through all of this I'm still just me who I was when this all started in some fashion I mean I guess I can't be who I was when this all started because that's impossible after everything but I still don't believe whatever the rest of you say I felt no divine aid at the conclave or haven the struggle ahead seems mine alone Faith may have yet to find you, but it has already found them. Thank you. A word. Yes, please. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. Her faith is hard won, Letheline. Worthy of pride. Save one detail. Oh? The threat Corypheus wields. Yeah. The orb he carried. It is ours. Ours? Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the conclave. We must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. When you say ours, do you mean like yours and mine, like we share custody of this orb or something like that? Or do you mean ours like elves made it? Because that's two different hours. Like just because elves make it doesn't mean it's out. You know what? Okay. Anyways, um, first of all, thank you for saving me back there. I was really worried they were going to break into song again. But how do you know any of this, by the way? Like, how did you even see it? All right. What is it and how do you know about it? Such things were foci. Said to channel power from our gods. Some oh? were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the Fade, echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Great. Well, good news is we're lost out here, in the middle of nowhere, where there's nowhere to go, and it's snowy and cold, and I can't feel my toes. So it won't matter, because who's going to find us? Their blame won't matter if we can't get out of this wilderness. That is the immediate problem. And it offers a solution that may secure your place in their hearts. Oh? You saved them at Haven. Right. Perhaps you can again. Oh, good. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Skyhold. 